Good afternoon. How are you there? You look very comfortable sitting there. Yeah, I am, thank you, yeah. Yeah? yeah nice and comfy in one of these deck chairs. And you like the traditional deck chair, do you? Yeah, I do, yeah, yeah. Very comfy. Yeah, and you managed to put it together all right? Nice and easy. Yeah, nice and easy. Yeah. And it wasn't heavy to carry to the beach, was no, it? No, it wasn't. No. And you got it from the beach deck chair higher. That's right. Let's just have a look. Just up there. Just up there, right near the, the sea front. Yeah. And what is your name? Sam. Sam. Nice to meet you, Sam. But you've got, found a good spot to put your chair, haven't you? That's right, yeah. Look, you've got all this. You seem to have a lot of space around you, which is unusual, isn't it, on a hot day like this? Yeah. And what did it cost you for the chair? Three quid. No, it's four pound, it's four pounds, isn't it? Pounds, Unless it's gone down in price. Yeah, and then they And then they take a pound for... Um, for you to bring the chair back, yeah, yeah, pound yeah. deposit. So it's worth it, isn't worth it? Because yeah. you can imagine, if you were sitting now on the sand, it wouldn't be very no, much, much comfy on it. Most comfortable, yeah. yeah. And it's just the normal, yeah. Well, you're a big guy, but you still seem to be comfortable sitting there, don't yeah. you? Yeah. I mean, if I go back. I think a lot of people, they get on the beach and then they, they think, oh, I wish I'd got a chair because of all the sand. You can definitely recommend it. You can definitely recommend it, yeah. And what do you get up to? I'm a professional boxer. Really? Uh, also box for an amateur gym. Oh, where's that? Uh, it's, in, it's in Avonmouth in Bristol. Avonmouth in Bristol? The name of it is National Smelters Boxing Club. It's been going for years. National Smelters? That's correct. How do you spell that, please? Yeah, I need a pen to write it down for you. <laughs> National Smelters. Smelters is S M S M E L T E R S. Okay, yeah. Yeah, cracking gym, going for years. Out boxing, they've got a good team of lads at the minute, out regularly boxing. Um, it's an overall great gym. Boxing lads from all... All around, really, all, all around, sort of south, southwest of England. And did you say you help there? Yeah, we do. Yeah, yeah. So I got, I box, box yeah, I still train there now. Oh, do you? Uh, box there, coach there, sort of help the uh, younger, upper coming lads. What sort of age group do you help? Uh, say from eight, nine. Yeah. Like right up to sort of my my age or, or older, really. Sort of eight, 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 eight years of eight, eight years old, right yeah. up to sort of forty. Bet they love uh, that. The box, yeah. Yeah, mm. yeah, it's such a great. Yeah. Real friendly, real friendly sort of family vibe in the gym. Cracking gym. Is it open seven days a week? Yeah. Is it really? Less, yeah, yeah, open seven days in a week. Yeah, yeah, you've got different sort of classes being run. Um, yeah, you've got a great team of carded boxers out boxing regularly in the season. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah. And if people Google the name, would they find it quite They'll easily? Find it, yeah. Yeah, 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 so come up online, they've got a website, yeah. like say your web page, and it come up on your Google Maps. Yeah. And anyone is welcome. Where, where, where would you say the nearest point to it is, if someone was looking for it? Avonmouth. Avonmouth? Avonmouth, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so it's, so it's in Avonmouth. So it's, is that a big place? Yeah, it's big, in Bristol, yeah. Oh, yeah. I see what you mean, in Bristol. In, in, in Bristol. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's a place called Avonmouth in Bristol. Okay. It's, it's a big place. Yeah. And how many would the gym hold, do you think? Uh, at the minute, you're getting 30 lads train at a time. Yeah. And lasses. Yeah. And you've got sort of boys and girls. Oh, really? Men, women, yeah. Yeah. Sounds fun, doesn't it? It does, yeah. Yeah. It's a brilliant gym, you know, it's really good sort of helping the younger kids. Yeah, definitely. Giving them something to sort of focus on. Yes. You know? Yeah. Really good. Yeah. yeah. yeah really good. I mean, it's good for the body, it's good for the mind, isn't it? Fitness, health, yeah, yeah mental health. Yes, definitely. Confidence. Yeah, of yeah, course. Physique, yeah, like I say, good for your body. Yeah. It helps you look after yourself. Definitely, yeah. And so what does, in boxing, do they have different sizes for different weights of people? So people can go, go along if they're a bit heavy, people can go along if they're a bit slim. Yeah, How does that work? Definitely, any sort of weights, heights, sizes, body. You know, when you're, when you're in a boxing gym, it, it doesn't matter. 
uh, who you are, where you're from, uh, right. what your belief is, religion, uh, race, you know, you're all like one big family. Yeah. You know, you're all there for the same reason, you know, to sort of help each other, train together. That's we've very got, good. We've all got the same goal. Yeah, that's marvellous. Well, you seem to certainly enjoy it, and you're professional. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So I went pro uh, about six years ago or so, roughly. Well, I think it was in 2016. Yeah. Um, I had three three professional fights, one or three. Uh, you won all three? One or three, yeah. You must be good then. Trained hard, yeah, yeah. So I, before then, I had, uh, I had a lot of amateur fights, um, and then that le led me on. Yeah. Uh, so I had a brilliant coach, Gary Cave, at the time. Uh, still is now, still coaching that. Yeah. Uh, sort of got me up to that, got me up to that level. Um, and then, yeah, I had three professional fights. Um, and then since, but now I've got two boys. Have you? Uh, when they were born, they sort of became my priority. Yeah. How old are that your boys? Uh, one's nearly four. Aww. And the other is two. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah. So, um, but now they're getting a little bit older, starting to sleep through the night, getting a bit easier. Yeah. I'm getting a bit of my time back, so I've been back training. Yeah. Um, hoping to get. Hoping to get back up and going and back up and running and boxing. Do you live far from the gym? No, I'm just up the road. Oh, that's handy for you then, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Cool. You'll probably be a lot stronger when you go back, haven't had a break. Yeah, yeah. And be nice glad to, to get back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. See, it gives you that bit of hunger. Yeah. To get back into it. And were your f fights local? Uh, in Bristol been, or? Yeah, so the, um, um, the professional fights, uh, they were at Ashton Gate Stadium. Um, but say, when I boxed as an amateur, you know, we were. Uh, it's London, Manchester. Oh, really? That, yeah, we box all, all over. Oh, I yeah. see. You box, box all over. You box on your home show, you box on away shows. Um, all, all of the different clubs. Okay. So all of the gyms in different areas, they'd all help each other out. Uh, so, you know, you, lads would come to box you on your home show, and then you would go back and box. Oh, I see. Different lads from the gym on that. On oh, home right. Show. That's also, interesting. Yeah, the, the amateurs, uh, you know, uh, uh, Brilliant boxers, very talented, high skilled boxers. Yeah. All, but they're all there helping each other. Have you got any advice for a young boxer who's thinking of coming along to the gym? Yeah, definitely. Just get, uh, you know, um, just get involved. Get yourself down the gym. Just try your best. That's all you have to be. If you want to be good at boxing, all you have to do is just try your best. Yeah. And, and then you'll be the best you can be. And if they're a bit shy coming along, is there a phone number they can call on the website? You don't. There is a phone number. Yeah. There yeah. is a phone number. You could always give the coach a call. Uh, yeah, definitely. But the best thing you can do is just turn up. That's good. All, all they have to do, all you have to do, I suppose, is uh, if you're a bit nervous, a bit worried, just buck up the courage, come yeah. along and train, and you realise, you know, how easy it can be. And do they need to buy some boxing gloves before they no. come? Uh, no. Our gym, most gyms, you know, for every gym I know, you don't need anything. You just need yourself to start with. Maybe a bottle of water. A bottle of water. A bottle of water. So when would they? When would they advance to the, glo the gloves? Uh, they'll, they'll do that at, at their own level. Oh, I see. So there, there's always gloves in the gym you can borrow. Yeah. Um, and out there, when they start to enjoy it, uh, like you do with any sport. Yes. You start a sport, you enjoy it. You know, you sometimes want to say, buy yourself some gloves, buy yourself a gum shot, buy yourself a... Punch uh, bag. Punch bag at home. Yeah. yeah. Sounds really interesting. You make it, you know, not knowing nothing about boxing, you make it very... Um, appealing yeah it definitely is it's a you know sport and i think um because it helped me so much yeah when i was younger yeah i sort of want to uh be there for uh, other lads who were in, you know sort of felt like me and sort of bring on other lads to help other kids you know you know it's great it's great for the young lads who sort of don't know what they want to do or yeah but i'm sure all the lads who are really fit yeah you know uh you know got um you know good good physique yeah fit, healthy lads yeah you know and they want to pursue it and be something yeah so um, boxing suits anybody and everybody. Yeah. There's a lot of money in it as well, isn't there? Uh, they, they, there is at a high level. Yeah. Yeah, yeah there, is, there is at a high level. Um, and did but, you get paid for your fights? Uh, we, did, we did get paid. We did get paid for our fights um, when, when, we were, when we were signed up pro. Uh, but mainly we didn't. Most people, they don't do it for the money. No. Um, we, were there, we were there for sort of the love of the sport. Especially yeah. as the amateurs, you find all, all amateur gyms, the coaches, they're there. No one's there for the money. It's okay. all for the love of the sport. That's more what you see Makes on the TV. Makes it more interesting. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. But definitely. if you were, say, like Anthony Joshua, you'd get paid a lot of money to fight, they, wouldn't you? they get paid mega money. That's what I'm yeah. saying. So the professional game at their level, uh, yeah, there's a, there's, a big, there's a big factor of money. Yeah. Uh, 
and decide on that. But to start with, uh, most of most of the boxers' careers, it's not. It's more for sort of the love of the sport. And some of the stuff you see on the TV and what that's what I'm yeah. talking about. The TV, yeah, yeah. What you, you see know, on the TV. Some of the big stuff, the promotions, <laughs> matching. Yeah, yeah. There's a big factor of money involved. Yeah. Uh, um, if you get to that level, you know, fair play to me. Mm. It reached a very high level. So but, you sort of deserve it. How do you think you would fare out if you had a fight with Anthony Joshua? <laughs> I don't think there'd be much left of me. Wouldn't there? I don't think you'd go easy. Really? <laughs> yeah, if you were... Um, yeah, yeah, he's a very... Uh, even though he's recently lost, but he's a very, very, uh, when very you, skillful boxer. When you say that, are you not confident at all that you could get a couple of punches in with him? Uh, not with a weight difference, a size oh, difference, I see. experience difference. Yeah, yeah. Oh, there's I a see. Different, um, there's a different level as you move up oh, through I the see. titles. So we He's a lot the, bigger than you, is he? Not the bigger, it's the skillfulness. Oh, really? And, uh, yeah, when you start off as a pro, uh, you start off sort of a novice pro, and then you start going for area titles, and then you go for English titles. When you come up to world titles, it's a Oh, I see. Level. Yeah, but I suppose a lot of youngsters would aspire to be someone yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Or Tyson. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. You know, and Joshua's a good, good role model. Yeah. Uh, you know, maybe, yeah. Uh, it didn't go his way on his last fight. But, um, uh, but he's done amazingly he's well. Done brilliant to get that far and what he's done. Definitely, that yeah. We've got to big him up. Big up, Anthony Definitely. Joshua. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Well, it was an absolute pleasure talking to yeah. you, Thanks and I lot. hope this video inspires a lot of young youngsters to come along to your gym. Thank you. Would you like to say the name of it again? This was National Smelters Boxing, and that's where you go. That's where we train. So people could see you there. Definitely, yeah. And it's Sam, yeah. is your name? That's right. Yeah. So if you want to see Sam, everyone, go come along. On down. Come on to the gym, and you're there. And we'll be there. Are you there weekends or in the week? Week weekends. The lot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <come on. laughs> oh, uh... That's not very nice. Oh, come on, <laughs> anyway. Thanks a lot. It was lovely meeting you. <laughs> and let's put the chair up. Put a nice comfy chair back. And it was lovely meeting you, Sam. Thank and you. thank you so much. Thanks a lot. Was that your friend who done that? That is. That oh, it's is. not very nice of him, no, was it's it? Not. It's not. <laughs> Would you like to come in on it quickly? Uh, oh, go. No, but thank shy. you so much, Sam. Thank and you. Um, I wish you all the best for your boxing career. Thank you. And hopefully you'll have another fight soon. Thanks a lot. And I'll, I'll say goodbye and peace out. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye-bye.